What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com, and welcome back to kind of a special video that we've got for you today. Uh, we, we got uh, somebody reached out to Magic on Twitter and said that they would like to kind of know uh, pace and, and what all goes on, the pace of racing, as far as the science of it, all the running styles, uh, and also, you know, why horses switch leads and when horses switch leads, what does that really mean? Which, by the way, the, the whole switching leads and, and kind of the science behind pace is something I asked, uh, uh, you know, three, four, five trainers pretty quick when I got into the game because you hear those kind of things, but you don't really understand, at least I don't, and with people that aren't really around horses or, or have been around this game, that's kind of okay. Yeah, the horses do this, that. They, they switch their leads. Well, what does that really mean, and why do they really do it? Well, I'll explain it. Uh, at least from what I've been told, I want to make a couple things very clear. Uh, I'm, I'm not a trainer of horses, okay? So uh, I, I can't tell you firsthand knowledge, and I, I'm, not, I'm not around horses, so I can't tell you firsthand knowledge. But this is what I've learned through hanging out with people that are trainers and are around horses every day. So as far as the pace goes, you know, Everybody will kind of break this down differently. When I, in my mind, when I handicap, there's four different types of running styles. There's horses that balls to the wall. They want the lead. It's pure speed is what I call them. And look, it, it doesn't matter if there's three horses with pay with, with a lot of speed signed on or one horse or six horses. I can count on the pure speed horses. They're going to the front. They are not happy if they're not in the front. And, and, and these type of horses, when you watch a race and you see a horse that isn't in the lead and they're throwing its head, their head and they're, they're pulling as hard as they can and the jockey's like standing straight up, that's a pure speed. That's a horse that just, I like to go to the front and that's it. So pure speed would be the first category. A lot of people call the second category like pressers. I don't really call this second category pressers, but the next category is just a speed horse. And they're naturally fast out of the gate, right? They don't have to get the lead, but they also don't have any interest in going to the back. They're just fast. And, and I think a lot of times people kind of kind of get these two confused. And I think that's where handicapping, we'll get into the handicapping portion of this in a second. But I think that's where people might get a little confused with, with handicapping wise. Just because a horse has all, you, you look at the past performances like ones, ones, that doesn't necessarily mean they want the absolutely want the lead or need the lead to be successful. Sometimes when you watch a horse and they get the lead and they're just in a nice fluid stride, that's just because they're just naturally a hell of a lot faster than the rest of the horses in the race. I'll never forget American Pharaoh back in 2015. Everybody thought, oh, he's just a he's he's just a need the lead type, need the lead type. And then what ended up happening is they would send horses out there that were really fast to try to mess with him. And all he would do was just sit off and run the same exact race he had been running when he was on the, on the lead. He could just go out there and click off fractions that were fast, but he didn't have to go get you. He didn't have to go to the front. He was going to fall where he naturally fell. And then what you did around him was fine. He didn't care one way or the other, right? So that was kind of thing. That's the difference between horses that are fast and horses that need the lead. Some horses are just fast and they'll, they'll do whatever you ask them to do. Right. And those are the best kind. That's what you want. A horse that has natural ability to get towards the front, but doesn't have to get in a pace tool. Doesn't have to have the lead. Isn't real competitive until you ask them. So, uh, you know, a lot of people call those pressers or stalkers. I just call it regular speed. So you got like blazing speed or, or, you know, speed where you, we need the lead. You got your regular speed horses that are just fast, but they don't necessarily want to go. Then you kind of got your mid-pack type horses. Uh, these are very similar to that second category where you're sitting mid-pack. You've got some speed. You're not going to be dead last, but you're, you know, you're waiting until the kind of the end or when they tell you to run. You're kind of biding your time, being patient, those mid-pack runners. And then the fourth uh, is is the the dead closers closers that are just they they're they're devoid of any early speed they're going to go to the back they're going to hope the pace melts down and then they can come running late so when you're looking at handicapping it, it you know say you have a, a speed ball just a horse that's full of speed all he does is want to go to the front you don't want to play those horses unless that is the only horse with speed in the race then they become very dangerous but 
with a horse like that, if there's other horses in the race that are fast, you kind of want to stay away from them because they just can't help it. They're going to burn uh, themselves out. But when they are alone speed, go for it. That's one of the best uh, in, in racing. So uh, horses that, that, that have a lot of speed but don't have to have the lead, that's kind of what you want to see. There's not a ton of those, but there are a few at each level. And, and that's kind of the best type of horse to have, the type, best type of horse to bet. They're not really pace dependent one way or the other. They don't have to have the lead to win. They also don't have to, you know, they don't they they don't need a ton of pace to go get that front runner because they can stay within range. So those stalkers, pressers that we're gonna see, to me, that's the best type. They're hard to mess with, right? You know, um, if you got three or four speed, really fast horses, they can sit off of it and then come get you late. So uh in that group, I don't if there's a horse like that in the race, I don't even look at speed, like, like the pace setup. It's just, you can't really bother them. Right. So let's get to the other two uh, portions of this where, where pace really makes a big difference. Horses that sit in the middle of the pack, meaning if there's eight horses in the race, they're going to sit or fourth and about fourth and fifth. They're going to be four or five, six links off of it. Probably. If there's a lone speed, they're going to have a hard time winning. If there's two horses in the race that are going to go at it early, it's going to help. You still with them, you probably need two or three speed horses to really feel good about betting them to win. That's kind of how I look at it. And then the closers, which are further back from them, you're going to nine times out of 10, unless they're very much an elite horse, you're going to need a lot of speed up front for those horses to come running because they're going to make their move. But what usually happens is they'll pick off. If there's eight horses in the race, they'll pick, if they make that big move and they're they're a talented horse, they'll pick off four or five horses, boom, just like that. And you go, oh man, they're moving. But what happens is there's enough ahead of them up in that front pack that don't stop. And that's why you see closers a lot of time will get second and third and they'll come running late and bam, they may pass that, that, that horse on the lead after the wire and you go next time when they stretch out, look out. It's not really about distance. It's not, it's more of just about they're so far back. They just need that last couple of horses that they need to pass. They need those horses to start stopping for them to get them. And it's not really a knock on their abilities. It's more of just that is really hard to make up those kind of links if that horse in front of you isn't really stopping. So that's what, when I, when I'm going to bet closers, it better be a lot of speed in the race. Think of like the Gotham last year at uh at aqueduct race kane was the only closer in the race he was a huge close way back closer everybody else wanted to go i mean everybody it was in a lot of time you'll see it with younger horses those horses man if they've got early speed they're just trained to go 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 right and they haven't really learned that technique of we can rate off the off the pace they all went he comes flying uh, race kane comes flying he wins by you know, multiple links, everybody loses their mind. The problem was if you understand pace, you knew, okay, yeah, credit him. He was able to win the race. Everybody in front of him stopped. Everybody in front of him stopped. And when that happened, all of a sudden a horse that really wasn't that good could win a race like that, you know, because he is consistent. He's going to, he's going to come with that run at the end, but if there's five horses in front of him, and none of them are stopping, well, he's going to have a hard time catching them. It's just hard to make up that kind of links. But when they all stop, then he can he can go get them. So that's kind of, you know, the dynamics. And again, to, again with, with horses that have pure speed, if they're going to have any company up front, stay away from them. If they're lone speed, go after them. Lone speed, one of the best bets in racing. And really, the, 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 the presser stalkers or just regular speed horses that don't need the lead, if those horses can fall on the front, Forget about it. The race is over nine times out of 10. So any, anytime you see that with the lone speed, that's a great angle. And then if you're going to start uh, to look back and say, hey, okay, there's a lot of speed in this race. You look back, you go, well, this horse can sit mid pack. They just need to come back to him a little bit or, hey, is it going to totally fall apart? And then I'll go play the closer. So that's how I look at it uh, when it comes to trying to handicapping a pace of the race. There's not really an exact science to it. That's the best way I can kind of describe how to handicap it. And, you know, as far as horses and their running styles, I've asked a lot of trainers, you know, I, I asked my buddy all the time, I was like, you know, this horse is really fast for three furlongs, but it, it tires out. Like, 
what the hell? Like try to try to get him to, to sit off the pace. He's like, he won't do it. You know, <laughs> like they're not robots, right? Every horse mentally has that idea of what they want to do in their race. And, um, you know, I know the horses that have, I've owned in the past uh, and, and, and still do one of them right now, Husker Butch. We kind of know what he likes to do. He likes to sit off the pace. He's kind of one of those that'll, that that mid pack to right off the pace, depending on what, what, how the race shapes up. And he's kind of got his thing. He kind of just sits and waits. And then they ask a jock, asks, asks him to run and he tries to close in the stretch. Like that's what he likes to do, you know? So they all kind of have their own thing that they like to do. And you kind of just have to let them do it. So the last part of this, uh, talking about switching leads. So funny, man. Um, I, had no idea what this meant. I like said, I didn't grow up around horses or horse racing. And so basically when a horse turns for home, makes a turn and runs into the stretch, the horse needs to switch its leads. Meaning all that means is the horse's right foot needs to be the foot that leads, right? So you turn for home, that right foot should start to hit the ground first, right? And if not, it starts to, you can, you know, you can tell once you've watched enough races, most of the horses will switch over to that right lead at the top of the stretch or right after the top of the stretch. And the ones on the left lead, they, they kind of look like they're running funny and it's just, they, they've got a different action. So why that happens, uh, it, in, in, I asked a few people at first and they're like, I don't know. And then I finally asked a trainer and like, well, it's, it's pretty simple. If a horse is on its left lead, the whole race, and then switches over to a different lead, the right lead, it gives them a burst of energy. It kind of, it's kind of like hitting, it's not, but it's almost kind of like hitting a turbo button. They kind of get another burst. They kind of get another gear there for a second. So uh, that's why they do it. And they, I, they've always told me it could cost a horse three, four links if they don't switch their leads while another horse does, because that other horse is getting that little burst of, of energy. Uh, whose job is it? You know, that was another question. Whose job is it the trainer or the jockey to get that horse to switch leads? It's, it's absolutely both, right? A, a jockey can feel when the horse hasn't switched its lead and you'll see a jockey. Once you watch enough races, you'll see, okay, this horse is on its left lead. You'll see that jockey trying like hell to get that horse to switch, right? So the jockey's always trying the jockey will give that horse a little bit of a cue to switch leads. If it hasn't yet naturally on its own. And a lot of times they will. Sometimes they won't. Husker Butch, he's an asshole. He won't switch his leads a lot of times. Sometimes he does, but a lot of times he won't. So, and, and the trainer comes into it too because the train that's a technique. The trainer's get working with that horse in the morning as well. Hey, when we round the corner, you know, in a workout, you know, make sure the horse is switching leads. Train that horse to switch leads. Some of them just don't grasp it or don't want to. You know, and there's really nothing a jock or trainer can really do if they've worked on it and they don't. Like I said, Husker Butch. He started to the last two or three times started to switch his leads as they get older, they start to learn what they're doing. They'll, they'll get better at doing it, but yeah, switching leads are, it's very, very important. And it does give the horse a little bit of boost of energy. All right. I've rambled long enough. I could talk about this stuff forever. So uh, anyway, thanks everybody for watching this video. Hope you liked something a little bit different here. Um, yeah, if you got any comments, any ideas, you know, just, just tell magic. We'll probably do them. So anyway, all right guys, thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you next time.